Hello. So I'm just going to run through how to convert a image to a line vector image. Um, it's quite easy, quick process. So here we go. Um, first of all, you want to get a photo image. Uh, we're going to use this YouTube image. So you just want to uh, take a copy of this using the crop tool. Close that down. Go back to your program. And then in here, you can now paste this into the program. A uh, program I'm using is WinPC Sign 2007. Uh, it's an old program, but it makes no difference to me. Um, all the settings on here should be in other programs uh, for sign making. Um, so, you get your image. Um, as we keep saying, um, 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 um. Right, as we got this image from the crop tool, it pastes it in in a low resolution. So what we want to do is select the image, go up to bitmap, come down here and find interpolation. Go to standard. I usually use a number of around six. Now what interpolation does is it adds bits in, it fills the gaps basically, so it, it makes the image more uh, crisp and um, easier to use. So here we have our image, and then we want to come back up to bitmap, go down to vectorization, enhance corner, and down here you will find a color um, it detects the intensity, so it, it basically just picks out the colours for you. It splits them up into different sections. Uh, so we want to do this. Then we see the whole image there on the right hand side. Uh, there's a slider bar here. And if you adjust this. your final image will be different because because we've used uh, set it to the low setting it's uh, only detecting um, like the darker colors um, and if you set it to high it will detect the lighter colors so this whole grey area in the background now should show up as black oh maybe not but I think you get the idea Thing. There we go. So, yeah, about halfway. That was fine for this. Hit OK. It'll turn it black. You can come over to your magic wand, which will vectorize the image. Click on it. A little loading bar should come up. Oh, it's pinged off. Here we go, it's going to take a little while so I'll come back. OK, now that's done vectorising, we can click OK to clear it. Now, this has vectorised this image into this box here. So we can now get rid of this original and concentrate on this. Right here we've got everything that you click now is separate. So. Um, it's basically created a line image out of the, the original image. So we'll just get rid of that um, outline. And there we have it. So that's vectorized, but it doesn't stop there. If we zoom in on small parts, you can see... No, that's not a very good demonstration. You can see on corners and that, that it's... it's jaggedy and the cut ahead on the machine will follow this line precisely so that will show up within your final vinyl um, you can see around here all the the circular edges are a bit bulgy at the top not very good um, so we just need to clean that up 
what I would do here select the whole image you want to duplicate it so it creates a a duplicate then you want to lock the original one so the original one was selected and you've locked that so you can't what the lock button does is you, you just can't select it it, it like freezes it um, so now we want to select our duplicate one which is directly on top of the old one um, this is why it looks a bit strange but then just change the outline colour to red right click and then bring to the front so now the red image the editable image is at the front and the black image is at the back but it's locked so we can't adjust that one um, it just saves you when you're filling these lines in uh, rather than selecting the back one you're just only using the red one it's just a uh, it's a background guide um, so if we just start with this Y and zoom in and then there's tools over here replace with a segment then you just go from bit to bit Go around the whole image, um, and then you use your um, what do they call this move point. Um, it's just basically your drag tool, um, and then yeah, like zoom into your your parts. Just grab the corner, line it up with both edges, and then you have other tools where you can just flatten that top. Back to this tool. Go over a bit. use this vertical tool is very handy you just go from one post to the next and um, it just makes it completely vertical saving you have to fiddle around at the bottom there we go that Y is now perfect for cutting you'll see I'll move it out of the way of the black one. You see the black still in the background. It just gave us a guide. Um, but now if you zoom right up on them, everything's exactly straight. The corners are perfect. Uh, that'll give you a really good cut when you do that. Um, just move that back. And uh, I'll show you how to do this, like zeros quickly. Uh, you can easily go find the font, but, you know, most of the time you're searching for it, trying to match it, can't find it, you may as well just redraw it like this. Uh, so for a circle, so we come back to this line tool, we can just go across like that, down, across, and back up, and then uh, use your square edge tool, and then this tool which you can bend, you can bend that up and then move the whole section. On the bottom you can do the same. That runs up there. So then now when you look at this The curves are perfectly curved. It's the proper radius, and the lines are all perfectly straight. Uh, it may need a little bit more adjustment, but that's just a quick little fly through. Right, I'll get the rest of this done and uh, get back to you.
Okay, so now all the lines on here are sorted, they've all been straightened and the curves have been put in properly. So what we can do is select the whole image, just move it off to the side. This leaves you with the black background one. Uh, select unlock, which will unlock it. And now you can select the black parts. We just want to get rid of that. And then concentrate on our vectorized image. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, the U is black, the tube is white, and the background box is red. Um, and for this to cut correctly, you need to change the outline colours so the program and the machine know which colours to cut when you're cutting. So the U is black. Now the cutter goes off of the outline colour, not the fill colour. So if you're having problems where you can't figure it out what's going on, it's usually because the outline colour's wrong, but you filled it in and um, it's just been overlooked. So yeah, change the U to black. The tube, oh, we'll fill it in as well, make it look make it look nice okay now the O, the centre of the O has gone missing this is because it's been sent to the back um, you just want to select the area of where it would be you can see the cursor shows up when I move over it just change that to white and there we go, that's popped up so the box background uh, outline colour will be red uh, we can fill it red as well and then the tube on the inside disappeared but we'll select to that and then change that to white you can see the, the bits are missing here we just want to select the invisible parts and change them to red okay so that's um, a vectorized image from a photo or a crop um, and that will be perfect for cutting now uh, the machine will run through it faster as well because it's not following all jaggedy lines um, you won't have problems with um, weeding out either because usually when you just vectorize it and it left them jaggedy lines on the insides um, what happens is the blade um, follows that directly and when it gets to that point it sometimes goes backwards and forwards and you can hear it it'll go eh -eh. Oh, fuck it. Okay, sorry, a bit of a minor glitch there. But as I was saying, um, if you don't get these corners right, uh, your final vinyl won't come out right. Uh, it, it follows the line directly, so if you zoom into anything and it's jaggedy or rough, that's what's going to end up on your vinyl. Okay, so in my next video, I'm going to show you how to cut this properly and layer it properly so you end up with a vinyl exactly like this. Cheers.